Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I am so excited for today's video. We finally get the opportunity to showcase Ooh La La Idol Adventure. Now we've been looking for the sponsorship for quite a while and they finally agreed to sponsor today's video. So thank you. And let's go dive in and see what this game's all about because I'm having a lot of fun playing it and you probably will too. Are you guys ready for an adventure? Maybe some kind of ooh la la idle adventure? Well, you came to the right spot. Let's go check it out, guys. Let's go see what this game's all about. I'm over here on my little 82 gladiator. He is tough as nails. He's geared to the teeth. I'm not gonna lie. He's looking pretty fly. And he's got himself a little bunny pet there. The bunny pet doesn't do much there. Uh, he's kind of lazy. He just kind of sits there and plays on his phone all day. Anyways, back to playing on my phone. We have our combat pet as well. We've got a stegosaurus and he's not tough as nails. Maybe he's tough as spikes? Yeah, I like that. Let's go see him in combat. Let's see what he's doing here. We're over here hunting through the Arctic. Apparently, we're fighting baby uh, polar bears and some Arctic foxes. And my guy's bloodthirsty. He doesn't care about the baby animals. So brutal. Just a big old mean gladiator. It just uh, tears him apart up here. And Stegosaurus sits right by his side there and fights with him. And guys, that's one of the cool things about this game. It's not super intensive. I don't have to think a lot. I can just play this game and I can have that idle mind that I'm looking for sometimes but I just want to relax and I have this game that goes out here and farms for me it goes through and does the mindless part of the game that I don't really enjoy that much in a lot of games a lot of games go out there and force you to just grind and grind and grind every minute of every day to have a chance to progress and this game doesn't make you do that it's gonna take care of the farming for you whenever you log in the entire time that you're logged out it was farming the whole time collecting shells which is your money getting experience maybe even get you a couple cool items i don't know but when you're ready for a big fight you can take your group out there and you can challenge a boss we've got ourselves a pretty solid group here we've got myself the, the tank we got a healer and we got two dps every group has those four roles and if you don't if you're not very good at making friends then it'll do it for you look at this we got ourselves a big old ox and Notice how he has a couple symbols right next to his health bar there. A little frost symbol, a little earth symbol. That means that he has elemental affinity for those elements. Earth and frost. There are four different elements in this game. There's water, frost, earth, and fire. And I got a stegosaurus that is stacked with... Let's look at this. Oh, look at that. I beat it. It's a relatively easy area here. Let's go look at my pet here because he is stacked with earth affinity as well. The affinities... I each have a weakness and a strength. So as you can see, lightning is strong against earth, where earth would be weak against lightning, but earth is strong against frost. So anytime I'm uh, looking, I can go in here and see what the opponent is. If I'm struggling with a boss, I can go in here and find a pet that is going to match that affinity. I can level up that pet and go back and get ready for the fight. This game is all about preparation. We got to make sure that our characters are leveled up. Our gears are leveled up. We're ready to go. We have the proper pets and we have the proper skills selected and we go in here and smash out some bosses. There's a lot of other things to do in this game too. Like, I've been playing through the arena a little bit. I'm uh, on a tough team right now, but we can go challenge him here. Let's go see if we can take him down. No victories for the day. Let's go see if we can get one right now. So we're going to go in here, and my team is also all set up for arena. And it looks like our first opponent is a warlock, a hunter. We got a, their healer and tank there. We'll go see if we can take him down. Let's go start this challenge. Let's go start this challenge. All right, so... Once again, I don't have to do much. I have my team already prepared and we're ready to go out here and see if we can get them and uh, Hopefully my healer is up to snuff here Like if my healer doesn't keep me alive, then we're gonna be in trouble My character's got a lot of self-healing So I'm not super reliant on it and as long as I can keep my group protected here Then we should be good. I've selected some pretty strong skills. I've got a good pet for this Maybe I should have switched out my pet there I don't know if that pet the Stegosaurus, he was great for the Arctic, but he's doing all right here We got their uh, tank down Oh man, we're tearing them apart here. All right, yeah, that's what we like to see. This was a lot easier than the last team I fought. The last team just tore me apart almost as easily as uh, these guys tore me apart. It was a little bit closer because I was hanging on for like a full minute, but look at that, we got ourselves a reward. Let's grab that, let's get out of here. Let's go check out some of the other things. So needless to say, pets are a big part of the game and we gotta get something better than my pet. Like, my dog's kind of lazy. He just kind of lays there all day. So we got to get something a little bit better than that, right? I mean, he's cute, but we got to get something to fight. 
they're going to be the key to either beating bosses or not beating them. And you got to level those pets. You got to get their skills up and you got to match the elemental affinities to take down the bosses that you're looking for, which means you need a variety of pets there. And some of them are just adorable. There's a lot of cute animals in this game, but we got to go catch some. So to catch them, we got to go over here. We got to cook up some food. Let's go look at the recipes here. Let's see what we can get. Looks like we can get some spicy hot pot. Man, it sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. We got all kinds of recipes here, so we can make whatever we want. We'll do some quick cooking here. We're even going to boost this up here. We're going to use some shells, and we're going we're gonna to get the tasty fruit, and we're going to make some epic food here. Maybe even legendary food? Yeah, that's about to happen. Here we go. Let's cook it up. Let's see what we get. Ooh, ooh, oh man, it's looking so good. Sparkling, heavenly, delicacy, spicy, hot pot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go and see what we can catch with that. Guys, I'm hoping we get some good pets here. I really am. I really am. Let's um let's uh, pop it in there. Let's pop it in there, see what we get. You ready? Pop it out there. Ooh, already attracting all kinds of little animals. We got ourselves some little dinosaurs. We got ourselves some little uh <laughs> little bears. We got a, a polar bear and a little brown bear. Guys, let's if we can get lucky. Let's capture something good here. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a legendary. Let's go. We got ourselves a brown or a red brown bear sheep. <laughs> Why does he need two colors? Is he red or is he brown? Nobody will ever know, but now he is all ours. Let's see what else we get here. Uh, we get a couple pets here. I hope we can get two legendaries. That'd be crazy. No, we got ourselves an epic. We got ourselves the fire Alcazar. All right, what else we get? Come on, give me some more legendaries. Nope. Another epic. I mean, we were using some pretty crazy food there to get this many epics in one shot. It's pretty impressive on its own, but we'll see if we can get another legendary. That'd be crazy. Ah, oh, more epics. Another, uh, oh, we got a Black Rock T-Rex. Now that's from the Fire Island. He's pretty, pretty, uh, beast mode there. Pretty beast. It looks like a beast, right? <laughs> uh, there we go. A Flying Fire Mammoth. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. Looks like my little pet, except for mine's got a phone. He's lazy. So lazy. Oh, we got that bear. Now, we got to go out. Oh, what is... Let's uh, hit this. Let's hit this. Let's go <laughs> capture some more pets there because I got that ready. We'll, uh, we'll capture. What if we get that T-Rex there? If I get another legendary, that'd be crazy. Oh! Oh, my God. It's my lucky day. We got a sheep. A legendary sheep, though. Just a sheep, though. Just a sheep. He's all cute-like and all legendary-like. A little regular marmot there. Nothing crazy with that. Another epic. Like we're getting a lot of epics. We got a lot of good food here. Another sheep. Oh. I like the sheep. They got the big horn. They're so little. There's the tyrant dragon that I'm looking for. He's only epic. I would have liked to get him a legendary, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. If we can level him up there, he can be just as good as some of the other ones in a swift uh Pitasoria. <laughs> <laughs> however you say that there we go we got a legendary that's what we are looking for i mean the more legendaries you can get the better but if you only got epics that's fine too you're gonna be just fine so it actually looks like that marmot is a dupe i have three of them so you know what we're gonna do with the extras we're gonna release them back into the wild release it and we're gonna get some rewards that we can use to level up the rest of our pets let's see let's release two of them confirm i'm gonna get 10 tokens 10 fossil tokens so we'll confirm that we got 10 rare fossil tokens and now let's see what we can do with these we'll go to train or not train oh wait that was right train go to pet research and we will get the next level of research oh level 80 research now all of my pets are going to benefit from that so that's going to be really cool we want to make sure that we're doing that and we're constantly catching new pets and any extras we can just get rid of them all right look at this my marmot doesn't have any skills why don't we hook him up here let's hook him up let's get him some skills here Let's assign... Ooh, healing. No, I want to go with inspire. Increase that damage. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll get the damage and we'll grab an attack. We'll grab swipe. That affects all the units random. Little AOE attack there. Very, very good. So getting those new pet skills, it's going to help more than just my pet. It's actually going to help my character transcend. What's transcension, you might ask? Let's go check it out, guys. So transcension is like the ultimate level up. It might blow your mind how much stronger your character is gonna get yeah that just happened it just blew my mind too all right so my character is currently transcension level four 
and five is the highest so I need to keep on working on this I'm a long ways away I just transcended and I wish I was able to capture that but guys transcension is a huge boost to your character my character needs level 80 to go to the next one I have that I have the progress through the game here I have the pet skills I'm just missing the gear enhancement so I can't quite get it yet I wish I could but my gear enhancements are currently level 60 60 60 like I'm pretty much 60 all around because those are the requirements to transcend to this level which I just did and the requirements to go to the next one is 80 so how do we actually level up our gear well right now I can't quite so if I go to enchant here and I try to enchant saying you insufficient enchanting books complete a mystic realm adventure to obtain enchanting books for the corresponding level hmm. what's that why don't we go check that out you know guys while we're on this page here looking at transcension why don't we check out the wardrobe because we can change up the look of our character anytime we want and i don't know i'm feeling like something spooky today so i'm gonna go over to the magical boomsticks get some pumpkins and i think i got a pumpkin hat as well there we go pumpkin hat that's what i'm talking about oh uh, let's change up our suit as well let's go with uh we go with like a christmas theme there yeah we got all kinds of good stuff here, but I think I'm just going to go with the golden coat there. I think it looks really good with the pumpkins. I mean, that is pretty good looking. Let's go with some black glasses. I think it looks a bit better. Now, I like it. I like it. That's pretty styling right there. So, yeah. <laughs> good times. Good times. Let's go check it out. Let's go do a Mystic Realm adventure. So, when we come to the Mystic Realm, we have different monsters here that we can work our way through. And uh, we actually get to see their stats in advance and we can choose our pets accordingly. So I think we have a frost and earth here. So we can actually go back and make sure our pet is equipped right for the boss that we're fighting. So we should be all right. I want one with a little bit more earth stat though. What? Well, where's the earth stat? There we go. We can go back to my stegosaurus. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's hook him up. <laughs> Dispatch the stegosaurus. Let's go. All right. <laughs> let's go in here to the music realm and let's challenge this dude here. Ah, uh, here we go. So these guys are much, much stronger than regular bosses. You don't want to screw around in here, guys. Well, maybe you do. I mean, I like to screw around in all my games. But let's go see if we can take this guy down. All right. Let's get him. Let's get him. They actually have multiple health bars on this, and they are very, very tough. It takes a lot to work up to some of the tougher ones. and only gets stronger and stronger as you go. So, a great game. Have your characters leveled up. Have your skills leveled up. Have your pets ready. Make sure you choose proper pets and... Uh, Let's see if we can get down. Looks like we're making quick work of this one. And uh, we're going to keep on fighting through more and more of these bosses. And try to get some of these uh, enhancement books. Because we need them to get my next transcension. You know? <laughs> Alright, there we go. We beat that one pretty easy. We'll go do one more. Let's see what the next one is. We got an elk. Irish elk. So, he is earth and lightning. So, we'll choose a pet that is lightning and fire. There we go. That'll work. Perfect. All right. So we're going to take out my little bird here. My little bird man. Dispatch the Pretosaurus King. All right. Let's go. Let's get back out there and let's take on this Irish elk. I don't know what uh, makes an elk more Irish. I, I'd expect an Irish elk to be a little bit green, right? Like, I don't know. Green. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We got four bars of health to get through here but we are staying alive just fine our team is very very strong i found some really good teammates here and they are keeping me alive no problem my character is a beast up there tanking but we're doing some serious damage here we're actually getting through it pretty quick look at those crits man they're taking like huge chunks of this uh boss's health off oh man did you see that last crit this it almost one shot him gee that must be the assassin that assassin was hitting hard my assassin hits pretty hard too you know what we gotta do? I wanna keep on working my way through this arena. I wonder if we got any more battles here. Yeah. Challenge. Let's go. Let's go. We got one more attempt. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. Here we go. Back to the wild boar arena. We find this time. Got an assassin on their team. Hope he doesn't assassinate me. That'd be bad, right? <laughs> man, I like his dragon pets there. Oh man, I want some of those. I need to get one of those dragon pets. They're pretty cool up there. I wonder if they're any better. Oh, man. I'm taking some heavy fire. Come on, healer. Keep up. Keep up, healer. 
come on! Don't let me die! I got a lot of self-healing, so I mean, I can keep myself up pretty well. I got some pretty uh, strong skills chosen out there, but I need that healer to stay alive. And I need him to be healing everybody else there, because if they're doing any AoE hits, it's going to hit my whole group. And I got to have my healer keeping everybody topped off. But mostly me, because I'm the tank. I'm up front. And we are almost at a stalemate here. Can we get their tank down? Man, this is a, this is a fight. This is a fight. We need to... We need to get some damage in here. Maybe we need to get a new teammate that has more damage. What do you think? We gotta swap out the Warlock or maybe swap out the Assassin? Kick him out of our group? Go recruit somebody else in chat? <laughs> Bring Global Chat back! We got Global Chat in this game. We got Global Chat. You can go make friends. In fact, I think a lot of people just like hang out for the social aspect of the game where they just uh, chill in the Global Chat. Man, we're gonna get him! Oh, he's so close! Oh man, my... Oh no, I went down! Now my whole group is gonna get slaughtered! Oh, we're so close to taking their tank down! Man. That was... That was too bad. That was too bad. Well, guys, that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys can go out there and give this game a shot. I'm gonna put some links in the video description. Go down, click on them, download them. It not only helps me, but it's gonna help you too because you're gonna have a lot of fun with this game. We're gonna keep on prepping here. We're about ready to sign up for a clan war. And uh, that's where it gets real fun. A lot of coordination goes on with that. And I'm pretty excited to get back out there and fight another clan war. And I hope to see you guys in the game here. Make sure the like button, hit the subscribe button, and go down and download Ooh La La Idol Adventure in the links in the video description and the pinned comment. But take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next one.